Hey, or maybe it leads to a completely new area altogether. Hey, the Oriental Lab, huh? What's this place? Actually, a better question is, how is this place? Look at where it's at! Look at where in the castle this is located. How... How is it way up here? All this twisted rock and... That looks like land? Bridges? And water? How is that all up here? What? Also, also look who it is down in there. Look who it is. Now the real question is how do we get in there? Hmm. How do we get in here? Oh gosh. So, Aurora, I know you weren't I know you weren't around for our second encounter with Benjamin, but it was pretty funny. You should definitely go watch it. It's on it's on the YouTube channel. It's label, it's the video labeled, You Want Me to Kick You? It was pretty funny. You'll see. But anyway. Oh. Hey there. Oh. And also, Arise, myself and my shadow. They don't always like if you go through on one side, it doesn't necessarily lead through to the other yeah. to the same gate. Interesting. Hmm. Eastern fabric. Ooh. Hey, hey. Very interesting. And I've been looking for that item for a long time. That plume or whatever. That, that that this bull creature just dropped whatever that plume is is needed for a lot of different upgrades but also the kitsune mask uh, that we just picked up let me have a look at that what do you do whoa 13 defense 5 intelligence 3 mind yeah that definitely beats out the ribbon also what do you do 9 defense 4 concentration 4 mind wow Okay, so our poor little ribbon has been beaten out by a lot. All right. And she wears it on the side. Okay, cool. Found ourselves a new headpiece. Well. Pro hat. Seven defense, two mind. Traveler's hat, 11 defense, six strength. Wow. This is still better, though. No, we'll leave that. 
Okay. Okay. So now where to? Oh my gosh, these gates are lying down. Oh boy. That's going to be fun, isn't it? Whoa, oh boy. This looks... This looks like it's going to get trippy real fast. Oh, whoa. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. Now you're thinking in portals. Like, actually. Oh. We made it through to one side. Crimsonite equipment. Hmm. Also, how's this a laboratory? It said Oriental S Sorcery Lab, but this doesn't look like a lab. Although it does have some interesting little portals in it, for sure. Oh gosh. Yeah, they all just go... They all just go to the... The one you would think they go to. Uh, unless you go backwards through that one. defense two thousand gold man they're giving me a lot of gold at this rate I'm gonna be able to buy those 16 and 32 bit coins ah warp point hi there These ninjas are actually kind of tough. What do their shards do, I wonder? Shuriken! Oh. Of course. I feel like that should have been pretty obvious. Oh my gosh, so many different ways to go. And cursed. Eek. That's bad. Arise, myself and my shadow. I'll take more copies of that shard, thank you. Lots of little tiny enemies jumping around. Yet another, another, another new cat enemy. Gigantic demon cat thingy. Save point? No. 
I'll just let my piranhas bite him to death. More MP, that's good. Arrive, myself and my shadow. It's a pretty cool area. Ah, blue gate. Oh, and we can open it. Oh, nope, nope, we're not going in there. Not yet. Maybe that's the carpenter door, since we already have the key for it? Well, we're not going into any boss doors without a save point first. Not that I'm terribly afraid of bosses, come to think of it. They haven't been super challenging. Not on this difficulty, anyway. But I still would like to get a save point. Arise, myself and my shadow. Also, the shape of this rock is pretty, uh, pretty conspicuous. <laughs> Soy sauce, finally. Take whatever this is. Pickpocket. Ooh. Okay. And whatever this is. Oh, augment strength. Oh, just straight up strength, huh? Oh, well, I'm coming back here to farm this, probably. Oh, my. Now, what's this we picked up? Accessory? Oh. Two def- Two defense, one strength, one concentration? Yeah, no. Nice try. And this is why I like having welcome company and whatever this... I'm going to try and pronounce it correctly. Rava Baral? That's probably not quite correct, but the Rava Baral is what I'm going to call it. Ah! Boss door. And save point. Okay. So since this is the... Well, let's see what's, what this is first. The ritual is tomorrow, but we have a problem. One of the children we selected, Miriam, has fallen into a deep slumber, and her crystal, which accounts for half the catalyst we intend to use, has lost its power. I suspect my friend, but it matters not. The ritual's chances of success have waned, but we must find a way. Whilst Bale did not come, the summoning was, was a triumphant success. Demons have flooded into our world, proving the validity of the guild's beliefs and the necessity of our presence however I never imagined it would lead to such a catastrophe was I foolish to heed my superior so blindly but what is done is done yes you probably were foolish okay so given that this is the oriental lab I have a funny feeling I know who's on the other side of this door so, how about we go fight whoever's in that other room first? And then we'll end the episode by fighting what's probably Zangetsu. Yeah, 
It's probably Zangetsu. It, it, it's gotta be, right? So let's go and... F Let's go and fight the other one first. And then suddenly back to Western, a Western room. And it looks like this is the carpenter's room. Okay. Lots and lots of little scrapes. Oh, he summoned a... Hmm. Just to be on the safe side. Also, I would like you guys to notice I am not using any spells right now except Welcome Company. Could probably pull out some more devastating skills if I wanted. But fruit juice, more mana per second, and a little bit of this chicken casserole. We have a ton of fried fish, too. Sponge cake. Well, the way he lumbers around like this, he's not terribly hard to avoid. But he is taking quite a pounding. I was complaining earlier that the bosses were too easy. Well, okay. And he was at least reasonable. I wouldn't say he was hard, but... He wasn't as easy as previous bosses have been. Also, I seriously thought that this would hurt me. So I avoided it like crazy. I thought I was stuck in this tinier, tiny area, but apparently I could have actually gone up here that whole time. Okay, well. Boss defeated. Now, real quick, since we're right here... Man, things not dying very quick anymore. What? How do I get over here? Oh, there's a space over here. Aha! And I'll take this. What's over this way? Ooh. Looks like another hairstyle. Nothing else? Nothing else. Okay. All right. Uh, 
So, real quick before we fight Zangetsu. How about a change of hairstyle? So, I tried originally to do the Zelda hairstyle with this hairstyle, but as you'll see in a moment, there's a reason why I couldn't do that. Uh, I don't know what color Zelda's eyes are. I'm gonna go with blue for right now, and they're probably different with different incarnations anyway. Oh, I can't change the outfit color, oh no. If I'm wearing this particular outfit, I can't change it. Oh. Okay, well. I tried to do the long blonde hair, but look at what happens. Look at how the hair just, like, whips around like crazy. Like. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't quite work. So that's what I was trying to do. And then let me see something here. Breath of the Wild 2 hair? <laughs> I'm sorry. Does Zelda's hair... Oh, Breath of the Wild 2 hair. Oh, I see. Okay, like, have her cut her hair short? Yeah, okay. We could do that. But I think the real... I was trying to change the outer... The outer part of her garment from black to, like, pink or something. So that it would actually sort of be a Zelda color, but I don't think that's an option. Because it wouldn't let me change it if I take this off and put on like, I don't know, anything else. Well, you got over yeah, see, the costume color is now back. And the closest thing I could get this green out... Yeah, I could switch it to this. But the problem is, like, see, it's green right now. But if I switch to the Valkyrie dress, it doesn't let me do it. It switches to black automatically. It's just stuck like that. Well, drat. Oh, well. That's fine. Well, you got over that. Um. Hmm. This one? Or this one? Which one do you think is closer to one? So this one? We'll do that. The look suits you. Alright. Guess we'll have to take that. It's close enough. We also don't have like a golden crown or anything for her to wear yet. Actually, we sort of do. Ah, uh, okay. That doesn't look how I thought it would look. Um... <laughs> No. Like we saw, like I know there is a sort of a crown like thing we like in this game. I just don't know where it is. Silver tiara? Eh. Yeah, but Zelda doesn't wear anything like that. Eh, it's fine. So, back to the Oriental Sorcery Lab. Also, we never did... There's actually a couple... It's actually a path that we never took there that leads back to the bell towers over here. 
we'll have to explore that next time. But for now, we're going to go beat Zangetsu and probably call it. I'll be very surprised if it's not Zangetsu. That's a refilling chest. Oh, well, we might as well. Oh, whoa. That's the first time I've ever, ever actually seen that thing attack. All right. Okay, almost there. Okay, so what shards do I want to walk in there with? This is Zangetsu after all. Hmm. Actually, I wonder about Bunny Morphosis. I actually powered this thing up all the way to rank 9, grade 9. I wonder how much damage it does now. Probably a lot. But barring that, this probably won't do me very much good, so... Heretical Grinder would probably be better against him. But instead of that, Inferno Breath, I think, will be a smarter choice. Yeah... That's probably... Oh, actually, you know what I should use? Yeah, I know what I should use. Oh, no, wait, I only have 700 mana. Mm. I need to be careful about using it. No, we'll stick with uh, Welcome Welcome Company, actually. But I'm curious about how much damage Bunny Morphosis will actually do. He can tell it's us. The shard binders oh my gosh, it actually keeps that form during the cutscene. What? I didn't actually expect it to do that. I expected it to, like, untransform her. 
for the cutscene. Correct. But I am here to test you, not end you. I have no quarrel with you, Zangetsu. Perhaps not. But Carnage is the language I speak. If we are to come to an understanding, this is how we do it. Now, fight as if your life depended on it. Oh, come on, hit me on the backstroke. Oh, come on, give me the... Give me the rapid fire ability. There we go. 93 damage, really quick. It does a lot of damage. Ah, oh crap. It's that move. I saw that move on the train. Oh, nice camera angle there, game. That was a great view of the floor. I can get above him though. Whoa. Well, also he can get a. Oh, game! Come on. Just let me do the down attack. Ouch. Okay. Maybe it's because I'm playing around too much. All right. So this does lots and lots of damage, but he moves around a lot, makes it hard to line up these kicks. Um. Let us eat food. Um... And we still have high potions left over. Okay. Enough of that. Arise, my no, uh, I think the animation for that cutscene got a little messed up. Oh wow! Enough. How do you expect me to fight as if my life depends on it when you are clearly not? We were okay. Bunny Morphosis actually almost took us through the whole fight. I probably didn't even need to heal there. That keeps happening. You could tell. With your skill, you could have destroyed me in a heartbeat. I have a gift for you. Well, maybe on a different difficulty you could have. <laughs> nice! What are you doing? Nice picture with all the backers just floating around. My sword. The Zangetsuto. I came to England in pursuit of a demon named Gremory. Only by that blade may she be cut down. Gremory? That's the demon that attends Jeeple. But why give the sword to me? I've tried making contact with Gremory. But I have yet to cross paths with her even once. You think she's avoiding you? She must be. And surely you have noticed. That man you were after, Jeebel? Gremory is controlling him. <sighs> but her hold on him is not absolute. Perhaps you have seen signs. A moment of weakness. Uh, diminishing of his resolve. Yes. When I faced him on the galleon. Good. That means your ties to Jeebel are still stronger than Gremory's. And she knows it. Which means she will not allow Jeebel to be alone with you. When she appears, use that blade and cut her down. But wait... Why not come with me and do it yourself? Because if she fears me more than she fears relinquishing Jibo, then we risk losing her. I will have my vengeance on her. Even if it means parting with the sword. And there is something else I need to clear up. 
while you deal with Grammarie. All right. I will finish what you started. What I started? <laughs> I am certain you will. The way he says that, it makes it sound like he didn't start it. Also, you can't talk to him. Wait. Oh, I thought my heads were trying to go for it. Also, yes, you did call it, Aurora. It is, in fact, mind control, as we suspected. All right. So basically what this amounts to is we now have... Yeah, 45 damage. Zangetsu. A great blade who, who, whose bearers are given the name Zangetsu, or Moon Sunderer. 45 damage katana. Might actually be switching back to this form more often now. That's a lot of damage. All right. But anyway, I feel like we've made a, a good lot of progress today. Which is exactly what I wanted when I started farming off stream. More progress and less farming while I'm streaming. I'll probably do just a little bit more before tomorrow but for now I think that'll do it for this stream it's a few minutes sooner than I would like to end but that's but it's close enough it's this is a good natural place to end so thank you all for coming if you enjoyed my content um, feel free to join me on Twitch where your vote could decide what we play next or check out my past playthroughs and content on YouTube. Links are down below and I'll see you guys next time.